Welcome. I've done the build portion of the Tronxy and now I've kind of got some of the videos set up where I went through some part cooling issues. I wanted to add a part cooling fan and uh, I also did some, had some nozzle heating issues that I had to deal with and contend with. So with that I wanted to actually do some closing thoughts if you will on the Tronxy build. I, it's not really intended to be a full-blown review just some of my thoughts and things that I came up to and a lot of it was in comparison to what I was used to on the CR-10 which is my only other real experience um, and sorry if I keep looking over I've kind of got some notes because I don't want to forget anything and um, minimize editing I printed quite a few prints um, and I actually like it a lot. I think it's a great second printer, um, but I'll get into that a little bit more. Um, first thing I want to talk about is kit quality. My first indications when it shipped and it got here, I thought it was actually amazing for the $120 printer is what I paid, $118, and then plus tax shipping. Um, really was amazing. I, I was blown away. At, you know, it was packed well. I had no real major problems with print, you know, parts and, and things like that. Um, but a few of the issues I had did cause some some problems. The directions were actually really well, really good. Um, they were well thought out, well drawn. Um, I had no issues whatsoever with that. I thought they were really good, and people anybody could follow them. Uh, the build went pretty easy. Uh, a little bit longer for me because I was videoing it, but the build didn't have too many problems. You can see the video. It did have. It was pretty long. Sorry, I apologize, but you can fast forward through some different parts. Um, and I kind of pointed out as I was going any of the issues I had and what I did to contend with them. Um, the part that kind of worries me a little bit is not everybody is going to know that there was a problem. I knew because of my experience with the CR-10 and, you know, half a year's worth of printing so far, certain things jumped out at me that I knew were going to be a problem and I wanted to deal with them right away. Um, so I'm kind of concerned that new people fresh into it especially if you don't have a lot of technical ability may struggle a little bit uh, I don't necessarily think this is a good first printer for somebody diving right in unless you have resources to be able to help you um, the reason is because of part issues specifically I had a number of things that I had to do that you saw in the videos if you watched them that contended with you know bed instability the the uh, x gantry was really really floppy and i had to do a number of things and print things to fix those i was missing spacers i had to print those um the and then of course had to do a few other repairs dealing with countersinking um i the average person probably would be okay with that but if you didn't have another printer this thing would have been a disaster um, so I don't know 100% how, how anybody was going to even be able to get this printer to print well enough to actually print the parts that you needed to print it better. It's kind of that which came first chicken or the egg scenario. So that's why I'm hesitant to say that this would be a good first printer. If it's a second printer and you want to do a kit, I think it's great. You learn a lot, you see a lot. It, I had a fun time with it, but it's for tinkers. I mean, the what it is now compared to what it would have been if I would have just tossed it together and ignored any of the issues, um, it would have been a mess. It would have been literally a mess, I think. Um, but now it's printing really, really well. I mean, it's... This is just a little spider I printed on thick from Think Thingiverse. Tis the season, it's Halloween. I mean, it's got really nice layers. It's got a little bit of Z manding issues, but I mean, that's, I haven't really cared enough to, to work too hard to do it. But I mean, it's it, it's getting some nice prints. And this is a dragon that I printed. You gotta have print a dragon. Um, There's some, it's just really, really nice prints. For a $120 printer, this thing is amazing. 
there's it's not perfect i'm not gonna lie but the detail i mean like in the legs and the chest you know into the head for a 120 dollar printer that's pretty awesome uh and i printed of course smaller and larger trying to put it through its paces um i ended up printing a skull Again, I'm going to try and pr put all these uh, from Thingiverse. Uh, this one may have been from my mini factory or something. Um, but anyways, again, this was good. Why is this one important? I mean, there's overhangs. It's lattice. There was, it printed with supports up in here, and it all broke off really well. Um, there's connections between you know different types of surfaces. It was actually an interesting little model, and it printed fabulously. I mean, there's, again, if you look at it, you can see there's lines. That's that Z-banding I was talking about. You know, it is what it is. Um, then, of course, fill. That's the latest craze is Matter Hacker's 3D fill. He printed well. I mean, there's some zits and some pimples that I, you know, that I was talking about. Um, so it's there's some retraction things that I need to contend with. Um... But the detail in there, the overhang in the back, really wasn't bad. Um, sorry, Phil, but, you know, his overhang between his legs there, um, he gets embarrassed, but, you know, it'll be okay. A little bit of overhangs there. I mean, everything printed amazingly well. Uh, and, of course, the downside of a 3D printer is at point two, you get a little bit of the roughness there. Um, they're having trouble with focus come on focus it. there you go but again you can see the layer height shifts there but overall I was actually really really impressed um, so my final I've got them all mixed up now my final 3d benchy was this one I believe and again some banding still gonna work but overhangs did amazingly well nice on the smokestack um, the back the first layer it did really really well um, it's just amazing for a hundred and twenty dollar printer amazing um, I did print some Test cubes, if you're not aware of what test cubes are for, the way they're centered and the way they set up is they're done for the Z, Y, excuse me, Z, Y, and X axis. Um, and the idea is they're present, pres, positioned on your bed so you can actually see some issues. Like in my case, um, this is the first one I printed. You probably aren't going to be able to see it but there's some ringing, which is, think of it as, as it goes across, you can kind of see it right there in that top corner next to my left eyeball. Um, as it prints across, when it has a sharp stop or start, like angles and corners, it'll actually, you'll see almost like a resonance as it prints beyond that. In this case, I was trying to determine what some of the problems were, and this is a good way of isolating the different axes. It's only going to be moving in X, or it's only going to be moving in Y, and it's only going to show it in Z, and it lets you identify it. In this case, I was able to see that my X was beautiful, the Y had some ringing to it, and it turns out it was a loose belt. So I needed to snug up the belt, and once I did that, I printed the second cube, and... Uh, Again, it did well. I still have the banding, the you know the layers. It's not quite stable, and I don't know honestly if I'll ever be able to get rid of that completely. I mean, at some level, it's still a hundred twenty dollar printer, um, and you need to understand that this is not going to print like a Prusa or a MakerBot or a, you know Ultimaker. It's not going to print like a thousands of dollar printer or a thousand dollar printer. It's going to print like a $120 printer, but this is printing really well. Um, do I think it's good for a first 
printer for a person that has got low technical ability. No. You really need to make sure you have some kind of support and some kind of ability to get parts that you may need. Like my daughter got one. She's still waiting for it to show up. Um, but she, I shipped her off with some parts. And worst case scenario, I think I've gotten her enough of the parts. We'll get her to work through any of her issues. Um, but without support, you could run into some issues. So I don't recommend it as a first printer uh, unless you really are into tinkering and, and whatnot. Second printer, absolutely. If you want to just kind of tinker and, and get an extra printer going, absolutely. I mean, it's another 200 by two or 150 by 150 by 150 build volume. If you need printers, it's it's great. It's been printing fine. Um, you do need to. This was a pumpkin. This was annoying. I had, I printed three times and this thing just simply would not go. And it was funny because if I would have just, as a new printer person gone crazy and just started changing and, and all the, it was G-code. And I, it's amazing when that happens, just out of the blue, G-code, problems. Um, Resliced it, it worked fine. I, that's kind of the biggest thing. It looked like it should have been fine, but for whatever reason, it was corrupt. And that's one of the downsides of this type of printing. But being able to identify those kind of problems and uh, print problems and if you suddenly would have downloaded the pr profile and would have seen you know this and this was your first indication of this I mean you got to know how to, to work through that how do you do that YouTube videos um, Facebook uh, the group user groups other kind of forums and if you can get all that information don't try and re all reinvent everything yourself get the information from other people, utilize it so you can spend your time and resources going further and printing. Awesome things like this. Really nice. All right, so that's my final thoughts. Uh, definitely a double thumbs up. I think it's an awesome printer, um, but it's not a thousand dollar printer. If you keep that in mind, I think you'll love it. Hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully I get a little bit of help your way. And if you like anything or dislike anything, um, let me know down below and uh, we'll see how things go. Appreciate it and uh, happy printing.